How we doing, guys? Sorry, I've been a little absent. Got COVID for the last week, so I've been bedridden pretty much. <clears throat> and also, kind of ran out of ideas other than my hardcore series to make content for this game. So I'm borderline making some rough content until season two drops. But I figured I'd make a quick video today to explain my thoughts on season two. Which, honestly, really good. I'm super excited. And I can't wait to get back into the content grind. Um, what there is to talk about, though, is a few things that I'm going to bring up. <clears throat> so this new map, right? This new map is going to be the... I think they said the, another, like a, another step above um, Crescent Falls. So it's going to be harder or at the same level of Crescent Falls. So... I thought they were going to do a medium map, kind of like in between the difficulty level of Crescent Falls and Bright Sands. But that is not the case, which is whatever. We're still getting a huge map with a bunch more content, um, including like the underground experience, which is kind of cool. I don't know what they're going to do for like the lighting down there. So I don't know how well PvP is going to be down there. I don't know how many rats you're gonna find crawling through these caves and whatnot so that should be exciting um but maybe new flashlights maybe even some more attachments maybe like a headpiece light to your um helmet because i know they i know they bought up gear modding right so th that's gonna be a whole new thing you can use your imagination on what's gonna be added there because they didn't really say much about that um, but anyways, the uh, Fortuna Pass is also exciting, because that means we're going to be getting a bunch of new skins and whatnot. I wonder if they're going to do more skins over items, like they did with this one. I'd like to see that. New, new charms, banners, emotes, skins, instead of this free gear, because to be honest, I barely use the free gear. I think I used, like, the purple set they gave us and a couple blue sets, but other than that... All of it's still unclaimed in my current uh, Fortuna Pass. So let's hope they just bring a lot more skins on board instead of just in-game items. Because even then, like while you're leveling, the Fortuna Pass, it's the inventory management is already hard as it is, right? Because there's no inventory space to be including all this white gear and all this green gear that you've already gotten in raid and already stored up. But I mean, maybe it's... Helps to the newer players uh, with it. Maybe that's the bright side of getting gear to help the newer players and whatnot. Um, but besides the Fortuna Pass, there's going to be new quests coming along with the new map. So that's going to be exciting. I wonder if they're going to be behind the current quests that we already have or they're going to be mixed in with them. Like... Because I know you, we get to a certain point where we have the drills and the oil and the dungeon entrance. But I wonder if they're going to be added before that. So it's going to make the process of getting those endgame monuments and um, whatever you call them. I, I like to call them monuments. Maybe, well, they did also add they're going to add more endgame. So it's maybe... Uh, after you get the drills and dungeons, they're going to be more endgame monuments that you can build for the new map, possibly. So that should be cool. Um, they also added new gadgets. So that's... I know in very, very early stages, there was a couple of uh, gadgets to gear and or like, I think it was class abilities or something. Where people could throw up shields. They could throw like um, a little robot an ai robot um and also like a like a globe shield around them i think there was like a healing station there was a couple of them which were cool i, I think that's like wicked cool and that's gonna add a bunch of um, possibilities to pvp help with pve so i really think they should go along with that because that'll be pretty interesting on how that affects the current gameplay uh, there's also a new, a couple of new monsters coming out. New monsters, new mobs. I know there's this, like, flying monster, apparently. So that's always going to be cool. Um, there's also a 
new melee mob. I don't know if it's even like a monster. It might be like just like an alien type of figure because they have like a melee weapon. I'll put it up on the screen here, which honestly looks pretty sweet. So I don't know if there are going to be in different areas of the map harder or if they're going to be in like groups. Like I could see like the cult. Oh, that's what the cultists. Um, they could be added in like in a group of three or whatnot. That'd be pretty sweet. I wonder if they're going to be added into like the dungeon or what, what however they're going to do it. Um, that, that'll be pretty sweet. Ooh, I wonder if they're going to add a new dungeon. That'll be, that'll be awesome if they get a new dungeon up and going. <clears throat> Just for the new monsters, unless they add the new monsters into the current dungeon. Uh, there's also, what's it called? New NPCs come into the Fortuna, like the station and so I'm wondering if it's going to be the gadgets or crafting, I think. I think there's a new, like, uh, crafting NPC that I can put a screenshot of. Um, but that's going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot more materials coming along with the new map, I believe. So that's going to be added into how we're going to see the new crafts. So there's going to be a lot more grinding. A lot more of saving up material so i hope they add some sort of um gear boxes like i really hope they add some sort of attachment box or key card case something like that because i with all these new possible crafting materials coming it, my inventory is going to be crying for help man it's it's unreal the the process of upgrading your inventory and trying to min max what you keep in your inventory that's gonna be really good because i know a lot of people are crashing mid game my buddies would get out of the game and then you'd lose like little squad icon so you you have to borderline just rush the extract so you don't shoot your buddy it's pretty annoying um but it seems like all of this should have been or not all of this, but I feel like a lot of this should have been in this ma the main game already. Um, I know it's kind of like hackers kind of blew away a lot of like mainstream content creators, but also like there's not much to do in end game. Like it's just farming for dungeons and the drills. Cause that's all there is to do in end game. And it's like the PvP on Crescent Falls is. It's something else, man. I, I personally hate PvP on Crescent Falls, so I'm just stuck on Bright Sands all day. I'm re I'm just super excited for this new update to hit and get to grinding on some content, figuring out the map for you guys, figuring out where the best loot is, figuring out where quests is, quests are. Um, so it's gonna be super exciting to get this, but I can't wait. It's just cause. I'm a newer content creator, so new, figuring out the content you create on a game that's, I wouldn't say dead, but it's very lackluster of a community right now, where it's just so hard to create content unless it's just repeat, re repetitive content that people have already made, people have already done. I'm not trying to, like, obviously never create content that people have already done, because that'll make Borderline make the game content creation impossible but i'm i don't know i just like to be original i like to come up with really cool ideas you know so i hope the game brings back a lot of uh people to the season two which i really think it is because i know there's a couple of things are con they're figuring out with cheaters the anti-cheats getting better and they're also creating like these trusted servers where if you're a trusted player You'll, you'll be put into these servers with other trusted people. But anyways, thank you guys for sticking around. I'll catch you in the next episode.